Hey YouTube, it's Friday night. And I am live. Yo, know, it's been a while since I've uh, created a video on YouTube and the first time doing a YouTube live video. Uh, well, you see, it's uh, middle of the first or the end of the first week of the COVID virus. I've uh, been just finding the time to do it uh, amongst everything else that goes on in the day. Uh, so the last, the past few days, I've been doing uh, face painting after uh, after working and uh, sometime in the evening, either before or after dinner. Today's theme face paints um, was a zebra unicorn. I had told people on Facebook Live uh, that my idea yesterday had been to do a zebra, but that got changed to a dinosaur at the last minute. Um, and this morning I put on the striped shirt and said, hey, well, you know, that has stripes like a zebra, so maybe today be a good day for the zebra face paint. But these stripes, they're not black and white. They're uh, red, uh, blue and red and yellow. And I thought, well... So I didn't just do a zebra. Maybe I'll be a unicorn. And then it was like, well, no, I'll do it as a zebra, but it will be a zebra corn. So here we have the zebra corn face paint. Um, uh, one of these days, I'll uh, start doing some of the videos and maybe I'll do a makeup tutorial. Uh, as people know that from a lot of my earlier videos, I am a clown and do uh, parties, uh, face painter, balloon twister. So I'm fairly experienced with face painting. And every year I try to do a 31 days of October or 31 faces of October challenge where I put up a different face uh, every day of the month. Um, so it's uh, a mix of animals and superheroes and traditional Halloween designs like a uh, skeleton or a mummy. Um, just whatever uh, mood I happen to be in that day or idea I come up with, I try to do a full face design. And throughout the year, I get bored every now and again and put together another face. Uh, sometimes it's for a specific event I'm going to. Um, I've I have a school I do a lot of events for, and their mascot is a tiger, so I like to do a tiger face whenever I do one of their events. Uh, I have a canine crawl event that I've done the last several years, and I usually do a uh, puppy dog face, uh, something maybe from the Paw Patrol. Uh, one year I did um, dog, what was the the movie about pet, uh, pets life, um, just different uh, designs. Uh, try to look at the various holidays. So you have uh, May 4th, May the 4th be with you. So I do a uh, Star Wars uh, inspired design. Um, this year I did a Mardi Gras face. Uh, I missed out on doing the Groundhog's Day, but I've done that in the past few years. So um, just trying to do more face painting. It's partially to practice some of the techniques and partially to try out a new design. I will always Google the idea and see what other faces I see um, before I create one. And I'll, I'll usually have two or three that are an inspiration. And I have tons of scraps of paper around where I doodle a face. This was today's zebra corn face. Um, sort of just a concept to get me inspired. Um, here's a dinosaur dragon type face. Uh, it's on my sketch pad. Another dinosaur dragon, maybe a little skullish. Um, my face for the Day of the Dead. Uh, sort of looks like Eeyore from uh, Winnie the Pooh. This was a chicken design. So I, um, 
a lot of my faces begin is just a pencil or pen sketch on a piece of paper. Um, for whatever reason, I've always done my personal face painting using theatrical grease paint. Um, I have all of the traditional water-based face paints uh, since I'm a professional face painter doing parties. But I always thought, why I, I started at least, that if I'm doing my face, I wanted something that would last all day, wouldn't smudge and smear. So I do it with uh, theatrical grease paint and once it's set, it's not going to rub off and uh, I can go several hours with it if I eat or whatnot. Um, if you eat something greasy, it, it'll take off the makeup uh, around your lips. You can powder the makeup again to set it if, it, if you have oily skin or it's been real hot and sweaty. But that's sort of what I like to do when I do my own face. I practice with theatrical grease paint. The hard things about it is um, with traditional face paints, you have a wide selection of colors. With grease paint, you, pr you mainly have the primary colors um, and black and white and brown. There aren't a light blue, sky blue, royal blue, navy blue. There's just blue. Um, with yellow, there's just yellow. There is a gold. Um, there's one orange, one green, one red, one purple. So when I do it, um, if I want a slightly different color, I can add, I can mix two colors together so I can mix the grease paint, uh, a, a white grease paint and a blue grease paint to make a lighter blue. Um, I can mix a blue and a yellow to get a green color. Um, so that if I'm just, if I don't just want the standard green or the standard blue or the uh, standard orange, I can mix colors to make it a little bit redder, um, a little bit more yellow, and it will blend together. Uh, when I do with grease paint, I do it usually in layers. Um, for this face, I did all of the design except for the black. Um, I powdered the makeup and then I went back and did the black. And then I did also did a, a little bit of the white highlighting along the edges. Um, that when you have two colors of grease paint and they're both wet or haven't been set, they will blend together. And sometimes that's the effect you want. You're trying to create a gradient of color, but for the stripes, I wanted the stripes to be a solid black and a solid white. So by setting the, the white first and then doing the black stripes over it, um, bl the black won't, doesn't blend in as much as it maintains more of the solid color. So it's uh, one technique that if you work with grease paint, you sort of have to learn how to work with multiple colors. I can get a very fine line in black when the makeup below it has been set or um, if I painted on when the makeup is wet, it winds up being a blurry line. So uh, hopefully I will find some time and I will do some makeup tutorial videos on working with theatrical grease paint. Um, I know a lot of cosplayers on one of the Facebook groups, when they ask what kind of makeup and someone suggests grease paint, or they'll say, I tried grease paint and it was so messy, it never set. Um, there is a learning curve. Grease paint takes time to learn. Um, and I've been doing it for, um, I started uh, as a clown in 2008. So that was 12 years ago. Um, I was into Halloween before um, getting into the clowning. Uh, but before I started clowning, I was using the Halloween uh, paints or whatever you get at uh, at Walmart during the Halloween season. Or, um, it wasn't until after I became a clown that I started buying the professional quality uh, paints and makeups and really figured out the right way and 
the wrong way to do stuff. Uh, the wrong way was a lot of rushing and not knowing what I was doing. It was trial by error. Um, I know there's a lot of people on face uh, on YouTube that have makeup videos. Some of them are really expert and know what they're doing and others have no clue. They're just trying to create a video. It's like, here's what a clown should look like. And they, they're not a clown. They've never put on clown makeup. They've never done the face. Um, but they're creating a video because, well, they can. Um, so it's like, if I'm going to create a video, I want to be knowledgeable in the techniques I'm going to be teaching and uh, the designs I'm going to be creating. Now, this design that I did today, I've done zebras before. I've done unicorns before. Um, so I, had, I've, I have the basic face, but it's like I always try something slightly different, something new. Um, but when I'm, if I'm going to teach anything uh, and people have asked me when I do my 31 faces of October, hey, would you do a tutorial? Would you show us how you do those designs and how you come up with it? Um, that's been my goal for a long time. And maybe with the coronavirus and staying at home for the next eight to 10 weeks, I'm going to finally have some free time to do it. Uh, so I guess that's what I am talking about today is um, a little bit about the, the makeup and some of the ideas I have for future videos. Um, if you have a request, something you want to see, I know earlier this week someone was asking, what are some simple dog faces? Um, maybe I'll get around to doing that. Uh, I like doing superheroes. I like doing monsters. I like doing full face designs, something that's uh, multicolor and fancy. So uh, we'll see what I come up with and how much time I have. Uh, the webcam, I, I got that a few weeks ago. It was sitting in the box until this week. Uh, with the uh, coronavirus, we're working from home and we're doing a lot of video conferencing. And uh, I had to set up the, the webcam just so I can uh, get work done and found out, well, since I have it set up, it's ready to go and I can use it. So I've been doing the Facebook Live, and tonight doing a YouTube Live. So I guess I've rambled on for 13 and a half minutes. Don't know that I really had a theme to begin with, but hope everyone's doing well. And uh, keep keep doing things. This uh, We might be social distancing, but um, it's important that you find activities that you enjoy and you do them, even if you can't go outside and go shopping and hang out with friends and go to a restaurant, that um, if you have a craft, you have a hobby, you're reading books, you're listening to audiobooks, you're doing something, have some fun. So that's my advice, my rambling. Um, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.